What is going on, everybody? We're back on a Berserk Manga chapters 164 and 165. Uh, we had a triple chapter upload um, in Friday's video. I'm not sure if you guys will see this on Sunday or Monday, depending on the like goal and all those type of things. Regardless, I mean, it's happening. The Earth is like terraforming itself into these. This <laughs> is just crazy. Like, demon form takeover. Mozgus is like commanding or subduing or damage i don't know but it's going on you've got like god hand figures beginning to spread like it, it's the eclipse all over again i mean you just you see like i only need to see something once to know like when shit's about to go down again and that's what's happening right now um casca is in his arms uh, I'm assuming any minute now, within, what are we, chapter 164? I would say probably by chapter 170, we're going to see Griffith again, I would assume. Uh, we'll see how that shit show goes. And that's pretty much where we're at. And what's going to be so wild is like, and I don't know if the Skull Knight and Guts maybe see themselves, see themselves as saviors or anything. But I could see them, like, trying to stop this or stop them or fight against. You've got all these, like, people coming in from the camps that are so just devoid of any, like, joy or happiness that, like, they're just putting all their faith in Mosgus in their faith. But they don't even, they'll probably root against us if they see us, like, trying to damage him or anything like that. So a bunch of wildness. We'll kind of see how it goes. Let me make sure this is going here. You guys should be able to see the cursor. Mike is on. <clears throat> Let's go ahead. Do it. Chapter 164. Well, they really are going out there and like. Oh, they're holding them back. Do they not realize that? I mean, I guess they don't. That like. <laughs> Deep down, they're part of, like, the same cause, like, the same, who knows. Who knows, who knows. And these people here, they'll do anything as long as it saves them from whatever the hell this shit is. That's, that's gonna be a wild sight to see. You see these, essentially, flying demons going to war with these, like, f demonic shadowy fi- I don't know, it's a lot. And they're really going to get Casca on there. We, we we know, well, I don't know if we take Guts' dreams as his little premonition shit, like as fact, as will happen. But if we do, um, I'm going to assume that we will see, Casca will be tied to that, pil to that pillar. Um, will she actually be burned? TBD. <clears throat> Vice Commander, what the hell do we do? The only thing to do. As knights, we now have but one task before us. Everyone charge. Protect the people from the demons. Oh, man. That damn dirty craghead tossing people around like stones. I wonder if Guts and the others are okay. Pissing me off. <sighs> this is rough. 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 I'm very curious... <clears throat> when Griffith shows up here, what does it do for like Casca's mental? Is it a is it an even more negative trigger, or because we still got no words out of her? Um, right when it happened, she turned it into to like an abused skittish dog that like any sudden movements or if you look at her or look like you're gonna go towards her she just breaks down just breaks down now she's more of just like just a reckless puppy like i don't know what is i go here i touch this i do that i don't know the the meaning of pain or you know so does griffith like revert her back to like ground zero of just in pure panic I don't think it would it'd have a positive outcome. I don't think all of a sudden she's going to start speaking and be her regular self. I wonder if she ever will be. I'm wondering in the... Because we're about halfway almost, damn near. 
Um, and I know the story isn't complete. There's been whispers of it coming back around. Um, and we'll probably never get normal Casca back. The, like, you know, renowned fighter and, you know, war leader and, you know, tactical mind and skill set and all that. We'll probably never get that Casca back. But I'm curious, will we ever get an adult, competent, speaking, and acting Casca? I don't know. I don't know, I don't know, because I've seen nothing of this. Yeah. I mean, this has got to trigger him. You just see him up there. Crap. Bad. What do we do? Hmm. Better go down there and start swinging that sword while they're dealing with the... Oh, no, I got this shit sprouting in front of me. <clears throat> you just need to move, man. Just, uh, well... And see, this is the thing. Like, this is so beyond... <clears throat> like a tangible, physical apostle... That I know, like, they're not gonna regen. I sliced, I kill... <clears throat> Whatever this amoeba form, sh if I even slice it, is it even? I don't know. I don't know, man. They're still. Yeah, I mean. Use some help. A skull knight, where are you at, buddy? Because this shit is bad. Or four angels. Uh, so this is what it means. You see the form, you see it taking form. We might get it this chapter <laughs> or this reaction. These amoeba-like soul figure shit we were just talking about. They're starting to take form of what the god hands look like. Here's the one with like the exposed brain and head. I forget their names, guys. We, I really do. I know it's been mentioned before. You see the girl over here with the hair. You see the floating ball one that I thought the egg boy was originally. Oh, God. Where's... You know who. I don't know. And I'm wondering... Will we ever get background on them? I'm talking like Griffith level background. Like see them in their human forms. What was it about their life that got them to that breaking point that made them give in and sacrifice to become this? I wonder if we'll get that with the rest of the God Hand. And what sparked me asking that question is because these two look so relatable to me in form... Like, I'm curious, like, if they actually are relatable. I don't know. Because we know they're not... Well, we don't actually know that. All we've ever seen is Griffith, but we know they're not, like, forces of nature that, like, the universe just spawned. If we go off Griffith, for example, like, they were human at one point. Um, that'd be an interesting background to see. Oh, God. <laughs> see, this... Oh, hold on. My camera and things in reverse. This what we're seeing here? This? Is what I thought we were going to get when Casca saw Mazgus trying to take... Oh, when Guts saw Mazgus trying to take Casca away. This rage face here. That triggering. That's what I thought we were going to get, but we didn't get it, but they're giving it to us here. Wow, 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 wow. Wow, 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 wow. Um, we need some serious backup, though. So, Skull Knight, if you're out there, please get to this location as fast as you can. It did make contact, but does it do anything? Yeah, it just looks like it just, like, reformed back up. Well, that's what I'm saying. Granted, maybe you can actually lay a physical blow on a god hand, like, when they're actually tangible themselves this like forming in a puff of smoke 
shit. I, just, I don't even think this can be damaged at the moment. What the? Are the dead spirits merging to take shape? What will follow now is a shadow. Oh, there he is. Oh, no, that's just thoughts in our heads. Dang, I thought he, like, creeped up behind us. What will follow now is a shadow, no more than a shadow cast high above the earth. By light from a distant dying sun, shadow, then these ain't the real thing. No, they're not. I'm this close, but that sharp pain, the brand's not there. Yeah, not the real deal. They're not real. Then, and where is he? Mm, 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 mm. Oh, you gotta get down there. Fight or rescue. Your love will be left alone. It won't be as simple as catching two birds. At a time like this, move, I'm... I mean, you gotta pick her. And I think... That's another illustration on Guts... Um, not Guts, Griffith's whole thing on, like... I want someone to have their own kind of like aspirations and whatever you choose for the world. But Griffith has shown like when he physically took Casca and we know what we we all know what I, what we mean when I'm saying that. It still shows that like no, I still I still control guts. I still got him in the palm of my hand. I can trigger him whenever I want. And I think if he stays here and fights these forms that may not even really be the real thing or even ever manifest to be the real thing in this moment, it still shows that, like, I still control him. Like, I, he still, I own him. He's still mine type thing. I think here if he chooses to go for Casca, but then, but then that's another thing. It's like, is he choosing that or was it written that he's going to choose that in that moment? Because say this is on the flip side say Griffith is actually manifesting in front of him or maybe the real Griffith is there and Casco's getting dragged away does the rage of seeing Griffith make him stay and kill in attempt to kill Griffith or does he go for Casca knowing she might be being burned or killed in any way I would hope he would go for Casca now could he even actually get to Casca before Griffith's uh, god hand form just blinks on him and decapitates <laughs> that's another story as far as abilities but it comes down to choice I don't know hurry hurry up burn her burn her up if we burn this wench we'll be saved people when they have to preserve their own lives man move I'm alright this is about as far as we saw in the in the dream it's so crazy how people how far people will go to uh preserve their own life which i guess i don't blame them because we have an attachment to the people that they're wanting to hurt so that's why we're like wow how could these people do that but if i was in reverse and it's it's the same cliche question you see in all different kinds of animes mangas um comic books, movies. If you're telling me I have a chance to save these hundreds of thousand people out here and all I have to do is sacrifice one person to save thousands, would you do it? You see that question put up all the time in all different types of literature and things like that. Majority of the masses are going to say, yeah, kill her. We can live. Like they want to preserve, you want to preserve yourself. But then you have the flip side of, like, the story part of it, where, like, oh, no, we don't sacrifice anybody, you know, every life is precious. But it's just crazy to see how, like, their lives are in danger. And another thing, too, these people have been beaten down already, you know. Poverty struck in them, starvation, there's a widespread f disease going on. And then they see these demonic figures running, It's it's a lot. But you would hope that somebody out there would have the decency to... But when you're told that might do the trick, what else do you believe in? Especially if the person that you're already like giving faith to says that. Wait, is he not going for her? Or is he trying to make his way? I'm... Because we left off with I'm, I'm the same, same as that time. With the same outcome. 
where is he trying to get to her? Because I guess the way this is illustrated, it looks like he's just out here burning time. <laughs> but maybe he is trying to get down there. I'll give him the benefit of the doubt. We'll wait to see. Ay 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 ay. Same as last time. Again, I can't save her. <sighs> you know what would be really fucked? What would be really fucked? Is if, like, Griffith touches down and saves her. That would just screw with the mental so bad. It would screw with Guts' mental. Because we know what happened last time he was next to Casca. And then the rage of like, oh, it's him. And then it would screw with Casca's mental because even though that's a main trigger for her, but then that trigger is also shown saving her. That would that would do a number on a lot of people's mentals. Skull Knight? <laughs> Dropped her ass off. Thanks a lot, girl. If you value your life, approach not that tower. Distance yourself from here without delay. I'd like very much to run away, but I just can't do that. It doesn't look like I can do much as just one person, and maybe I'm just being stupidly stubborn, but I have to go. See, I appreciate all the help, Death. <laughs> Thanks. Bye now. She has the bearing of one of one of... She has the bearing of one off to deal with some triviality? I don't know why that was so hard to read. I'd love to see just like a couple... <laughs> A spin-off series of just Luca and Skull Knight hanging out. Because, uh, doesn't it seem like he's choosing to save her when he when she means literally nothing to him or the greater scheme of things? So why did he... I don't know. I don't know. Maybe I'm reading too much into that. With that much horror before her eyes, to cast herself back into the middle of it, and without even a hint of wishing to rely on my power... No, it didn't even cross her mind. Yeah, she didn't ask for, like, can you help me get my friends? Or can you get me here? If you do this, I'll have a ch She just is like, okay, thanks. And just off. Ignorant foolhardiness or else. But then, if my, re if my assistance was solicited now, I would be unable to comply. Oh, uh, here we go. All moves as if parallel to that time. Hey, bro. Damn it, man. I mean, I love Zod. Love him. Love him, love him, love him. But man, you're in the way. <laughs> Which is so screwed because I wonder if, like... I, I don't know. I don't know. It's like they're polar opposites of each other as far as, like... Not yin and yang, one of them's good and bad, which you could say that, sure. But, like, is this meant for Guts to do by himself? Like, is he supposed to face them? Is he supposed to face Griffith? Is he supposed to save Casca by himself? Like, we can... The one man that probably has abilities that could actually harm them can never even get the chance because Zod keeps putting his ass in the way. <laughs> Which I understand from Zod's point of view, but it's like, damn, I'd love to see a tag team of, of Skull Knight and Griffith for once, but... Shit, or even give me Zod gets in guts as well. I don't know, but dang, it looks like he's in the way. What a coincidence. Mm-mm-mm. Unfortunately, there is no way for man to change the course of this festival. We already subsist within the current of causality. Yeah, I mean, this is this is fated. This is destiny. This is going to happen anyway. Everything was going to happen. Um, you could throw a couple stones in the river. It's still going to flow the same way. Um, and like I said, you might think you have a choice or you might do something that's unexpected, but everything's going to flow the same direction. The end point's always going to be the same. If I give you a starting line here and an end point is here, it doesn't matter if I give you one choice in the middle that's going to lead there, or I give you ten choices. You're always going to end up on this at this end point from this start point. I don't care if I give you a hundred different. It's always going to be the same. <sighs> so what can you do? Oh, where's his ass scurrying off to? A little more? 
in a scant time, my life will run out. That will be the time when, at least at the end, I will watch from the summit as my world perishes. Maybe, maybe if, like those torturers, I had met that priest somewhere along the line, would my life have been... Mm, yeah, he's one of those broken and battered things that could have came into Mazgus' possession. Could have, yeah. Yeah. But I've been called one of them and become somebody. It's possible. But no, I didn't meet them. No, rather my life existed for the purpose of looking down from that summit of solitude. I sense that now. I kept looking up at this world. All it did was look down on me. Enough, let it end. This baby saved that witch many times. This is a body of flesh. It's not a mere human. It's dying. It's power spent. You're the same as me then, misshapen babe. Let us die together. I don't know what that means. Like him, him taking him in does like. Does one of them benefit? Is that really the end of? That baby? I'm going to assume no. We'll see. At least you can dream in your cradle of the new world inside me. Mmm. Interesting. Interesting. So we didn't get God Hand, but we kind of got God Hand. Um. I think this is probably the best panel shot, I think. I did like that rage face that he made a little bit but uh, I like this one as well so I'm curious are they actually going to show or is it just going to be this kind of ethereal figure amalgamation of what might be them but they're not actually physically in this realm um, but I assume if you want it to hit harder they're going to actually show up um, and especially if Zod shows up, if and again, it could be destiny faded. If if they weren't going to be actually tangibly there, aka they couldn't be harmed, there'd be no reason for Zod to show up, you know? Um, so I'm assuming since he's there, they, they are tangibly there. And then where is Griffith? He was the only, um, he was the only one not represented here among the four of them, so... And I don't know why the Luca and Skull Knight interaction is so so interesting to me, um, because we get we've gotten so little of him. But like their interaction, he almost seems like a normal human with like the curiosity he has in her and the questions of why she acts this way or why she would do or she's not scared, didn't even ask for my power. Um, it's a very interesting dynamic between the two of them. Uh, Skull Knight Zod gonna go again. Which, I do think Skull Knight is stronger. Um, but if he get, but Zod puts up with such a fight that he's just gonna be in the way that it's really gonna leave Guts there like 1 on 5 or 1v1 or however this kind of plays out to be. Um, and Luka's running in there. It's 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 a mess, and I'm curious to see the status of the baby because we know the baby kind of like exists in its own different plane and kind of shows up when it shows up. Like it could be physically there, but isn't doesn't physically reside in this plane. So I feel like even if he gets eaten, unless he actually gets eaten, eaten, um, like chewed up and all that type of shit, that he could just fuse out of there back to wherever it is he kind of waits and then come back when he sees fit. Um, We'll see you though. We'll go ahead and leave it there. I appreciate it, everybody. Like, share, favorite, subscribe as always. 